Hey guys, here he is Tony. Just coming up with a quick update with you all. Um, last week was my birthday for starters. I turned 36 years old last week, Wednesday on the 28th. Um, feels the same as turning 35, 34, 30, uh, it's all the same, but I am really feeling blessed that I've made it this far. And I thank the Lord for that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be before you long. Just a quick hair update. It's been almost two months now. Yes, November will make two months. And this is where I'm at. I have my hair just braided back. I've been wearing it like this for a few days now. Even when I was a loose natural, this was kind of my favorite style besides a puff. And I like it. And, um... I have it banded up in the back, but this is where we are as far as, I'm um, sorry, I'm not tired, I didn't mean it, yarn I was rude, but um, I guess this is a link check. I think this is how I'll document how it will be growing, just by how my little, two little ponytail <laughs> braid thingies, how they fall, but I'm just showing you where I'm at. Um, my regimen hadn't changed much. much. When I had initially gotten my hair done, the beautician, loctician, sister loctician, no, sister lock consultant she is, she suggested that I just moisturize my hair every so often with coconut oil, and that's what I've been doing. Let me just move this, because I'm looking all over the place. Yeah, I've been using coconut oil, but um, it evaporates so fast. It was never my favorite when I was a loose natural, it was just some, oh, everybody's using, using coconut oil, I'll try that. Everyone's using EBO, I'll try that. Everyone's using peanut butter and jelly. It, it was just like that. But um, I had been faithful with it. I hadn't had any hair products in my hair. Just recently I purchased, I don't have it here with me. Well, this is the... um coconut oil I've been using. I've had, I usually buy the one in the baking section, the organic, what's it called? It's, 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 it, uh, it's Spectrum brand, the coconut oil I've used, organic cold press. But I found this one at Walgreens about two months ago. What is this? Ooh, a fly. <laughs> um, they will actually buy one, get one free. And I had those little rewards points or whatever, so I got it. So it was like a pretty decent discount. This is Nature's Bounty Organic Coconut Oil. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. But the brand is Nature's Bounty. And I read the ingredients before I purchased it. And it's Organic Cocos Nucifera Coconut Oil. It's only one ingredient. Um, What is her name? I hate that I forgot her name, but I think I'm going to add it. Let me check my phone. Oh, freak. Where's my phone? But she said, I was watching her video a while ago, and she said something about one ingredient. And she was talking about um, Jamaican black castor oil. And I am so on board with that. I didn't put it in my hair as I'm afraid to, but I love it. I actually gave one of my bottles to my oldest daughter because I'm putting my wedding rings back on. I was plain in my hair, braiding it up, and I didn't, this kind of snatches on the hair, and I didn't want to rip anything out, but, um, what the heck was I talking about? Oh, stuff I put in my hair, so I didn't want to get lint stuck in my hair. That is a huge fear that I have, is getting lint stuck in my hair, because I seen something on YouTube, and this dude, his dress was like, this. no, they weren't that thick, but they were pretty thick and di thick in diameter. And the girlfriend cut it up the middle and opened his locks. And it was freaking disgusting. It looked like it smelled horrible. It was like mold and mildewy. It was like gross. And then, you know, I always watch Damien Walter too. And he's talking about lint hair. So I'm like, I'm not putting anything crazy in my hair. I'm going to stick with the coconut oil. And that's it. Or, you know, on my scalp and whatever remaining oil I have on my fingers, I'll just brush in my hair. 
and clearly on my forehead <laughs> and be done with it. But that's it. Um, I did, because my hair dries out and um, like when I pull it back doing this, I don't do these tight at all. I definitely don't like my hair tight, especially there's one here. If I can find it, it's kind of thin, little and fragile, fragile. <laughs> I can't find, here we go, this one. This one, it hurts. It feels like some hair is tangled in it. But even still, when I was loose, this whole little section is growing back, I should say, pretty nicely around the perimeter of the edges of my hair. It's, pretty, it's growing back pretty good. So yeah, I don't pull this back tight. But I noticed that when I'm doing it, I don't like it dry. So I had a little water bottle and I used to, I love drinking distilled water. I need to drink more water, but if I do drink, when I do drink water, it is distilled. So I had a little distilled water in my water bottle. And I added a couple of drops of jojoba oil, jojoba oil, a couple of drops of rosemary and a couple of drops of lemon essential or all essential oils. And I scoop since now it's colder outside, I have to scoop out the coconut oil and put it in the bottle. And I had some hot water from my tea kettle. Sorry, I'm scratching my finger. My ring was annoying me. Yeah, I scooped out some of the coconut oil, put in the bottle, and just a couple of splashes of the hot water from my tea kettle. So the coconut oil that's already firm, it'll soften up. And I just miss, I don't spray it all over my hair soaking. I just miss it. I'm tongue tied today. And I don't, I don't even have my tongue ring anymore. I took it out yesterday after church. That's, that's another story. And I'll share it with you if you really want to know. But um, I'm too old for that. For those who are my age, and I'm not even that old, but it's just, I think I just did it out of boredom, honestly. And I did find myself just doing anything just for the sake of doing it. It's not me. I had it done years ago, took it out. And I like to eat. And I suck my food when I eat. And I don't want to play dodgeball with a tongue ring trying not to bite. I bit down on it once, and that was not fun at all. But anyway, now I'm rambling, which is what I do a lot on these videos. But um, yeah, it's just spritz my hair just enough so it's somewhat pliable, not soaking wet where I can twist this and I don't feel like... I hadn't heard anything snap, crack, and pop, but just I feel better doing it that way. It's a little bit more pliable. But yeah, this is where we're at. And this is a good, my favorite hairstyle. Today I added the bang. Well, I'm going to do a bang. But usually it's always all pinned and nipped and tucked and pulled back. And that's it. So that's all I've been doing. I really like the smell of the rosemary oil. It smells very earthy. It makes me feel like... Oh, I'm saving the world. I'm recycling. I don't know. It's just I like the smell of it. But that's it. Um, I have nothing much to add. Maybe I'll get my daughter up here. My new thing since I've been temporarily out of work. I'm still getting paid, but I'm just not working right now, which is I, I'm happy with it. It's like the best of both worlds. But I've been learning how to corn roll and I did my eight year old's daughter hair and I'll probably pull bring her up here one day and let her talk. And um it came out nice. It came out nice. And my other ventures are home improvement things and I've recently ventured into baking. I've always liked cookies and cakes and stuff, which is why I'm going to the dentist to get a filling done in a huge cavity that I have amongst several cavities but at least I'm getting them taken care of so I still have insurance to get it done <laughs> I'm tired you guys but um I really appreciate you all listening to me babble on about nothing I hadn't even done any tutorials or anything but I just I just wanted to share my journey hopefully there's someone who are at the same stages as me and Probably we can link up, hit me up, I'll hit you back up, subscribe, I'll subscribe, like me, I'll like you. If you don't like me, I won't not like, like I won't not like you because 
that's petty and I can be petty. My husband knows that, but that's between he and I, but I'm not going to deal with that because it's nice to be nice. My first lady of the church says that used to say that it's nice to be nice. And I'm definitely trying to live that right now, but I have a lot of things to talk about. That's not hair related, but if you want to know, then we can talk. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And you have a good night. Take care.